What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. This is going to be of me doing a water change on my 120 and also on the 24 gallon all in one. It's a whole lot easier doing the water changes now, now that I have it with the uh, fluorescent weed eater lines, just cut those off and silicone them onto the uh, trash can. And if you would believe this, I actually used a black zip tie, siliconed it onto a black trash can and I couldn't see anything. So with this fluorescent line right there, piece of cake. Um, if you think about it, five gallons a week isn't really a whole lot of water change. But if you look at it in the long run, it's a 20 gallons every uh, month. So do the math right there with the 120, that's a 10% water change. I'm going to go ahead and change the subject a little bit. just want to let you guys know of uh, every weekend, um, Rotter Tube is doing these uh, live streams, which is pretty cool because you get to interact with a bunch of people. This uh, last weekend we uh, chopped it up with D from Brooklyn, CJ, you know, all these other uh, YouTubers out there and part of the community, um, which was a lot of fun. Also, uh, the live streams, just keep them up. Uh, I know I did one with uh, Infamous Aquatics, he was doing it, and I was chatting up with everybody. So if you haven't done it, highly recommend you guys do it. They're fun to watch and interact with everybody. Also, uh, with this tank, I've been changing out the water every two weeks, and the water volume that I'm changing out is only five gallons. The good thing about having a nano and it only being 24 gallons is that five gallons actually does change out quite a bit of this tank. One thing that I do need to add to this tank is a Fosban reactor. The kind of reactor that I'm looking for is a two little fishies uh, Fosban that I used to have on my 45 gallon. Uh, I still have that reactor, but I ended up hitting on the uh, 120. Plan on running some carbon through that uh, reactor. Not a whole lot. Maybe a mix of GFO. For the meantime, I've been using that phosphate RX and just doing water changes. Now, if you notice my siphon, it's connected with a hose and PVC. I kind of just made it up. Uh, I used a three quarter inch PVC that I had laying around and it drains really fast. Um, this is what I like about having a nano. Five gallons really does drain quite a bit of a 24 gallon tank. Uh, it's a little bit above halfway. The problems that I've been having mainly in this tank is mainly bubble algae, guys. Uh, Aptasia, you know, have Aptasia, but also uh, mainly primarily bubble algae. And the reason that bubble algae is a problem is because it grows on top of your polyps. Uh, the frags that I have mainly in here are zoanthids and pallies. And uh, as you can see, those bubbles right there will easily grow on top of your, your Zs and Ps. You know, guys, I'll keep it real with you guys. That's why I don't care if you guys look at my tank. Uh, I have bubble algae, I have aptasia, things like that. I've had ick. I've had it all. And in a reef tank, you're always going to have something going on if you're not on top of it. You know, if I didn't pay attention to my tank... My uh, polyps and all that would be totally covered in uh, bubble algae. And whenever I can, usually, uh, you know, once a week or so, I go in there, I take these frags out with my tongs, and I pull off the uh, bubble algae, uh, which I st started doing today. And in fact, uh, my Miami Hurricane Chalice right there in the bottom, it was actually bleached out, guys, in the 120. And since pinning it in the nano, it's starting to get its color again starting to get purple and the eyes are starting to get a little bit more pink. Um, in fact, uh, another story that I'll share with you is uh, reef to, on Reef to Reef, Marine Depot went out on the forums asking for people of uh, their bubble algae, algae, and all, all stuff like that. And my algae was so bad that I sent them the uh, picture of it and they used it as a thumbnail to one of their videos. In fact, I just got an order and I got a free t-shirt out of it. So just keep that in mind, guys. It's always something brand new, something happening, something going on with your tank. You know, your nitrates may be high. You maybe have green hell algae all over the place, you know. Uh, and in a reef tank, starting off, everything could be good. And then eventually you just run into problems and it's up to you on how you want to handle them. Which is why I do water changes every week and on this tank every other week. Which is also cool because we're a community and on that community there's so many people out here like D from Brooklyn will tell me do this, you know, change up your lighting or whatever. 
And then you got other people who, you know, handle it a different way. Uh, you got um, Fish Tank Doc, who, uh, you know, tells me to use lemon juice for Aptasia. And you got different people saying using peppermint shrimp. You just got so much feedback and experience on YouTube, which makes it awesome. Not only that, guys, you do have a lot of good people out there on the forums and on YouTube and our community, um, which is awesome. You do have a few duds out there who are keyboard warriors, but, you know, you don't sweat those guys. Um, you know, there's a lot of good experience out here and a lot of people to uh, lead you in the right direction. Um, in the last video that I did with the calc washer and all that, my DIY dripper, I ended up taking your advice and I took down, took it apart and got rid of the hose and just used some airline tubing. Uh, the reason why I did that is because some of you were suggesting that uh, it could possibly uh, leak uh, petroleum due to the fact that it's a rubber hose and stuff like that. So you know what? I didn't even take a chance. I took it off. Thank you guys for that. And uh, I'm still working on it because that little roller that controlled the drip is a little bit uh, too big for the airline tubing, but I got something for that. Now, as you can see in this video, all the frags and stuff like that, this tank is slowly starting to get filled up. Uh, that's the way I like it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, tonight I'm going to be watching the uh, forums. Uh, Worldwide Corals is doing some uh, sales, and they were selling frags for like 5 bucks. The problem with it is that they get snatched up so quick that you really got to be quick about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to stay up. I really shouldn't be looking at any more frags online, but I'm going to go ahead and see if there's anything awesome, any good deals like that, and uh, see if I can get some more frags. But I'll let you guys know how that goes if I decide to get any or not. If anything, I'll just be doing some window shopping on the keyboard. Uh, one thing about that, though, guys, is uh, you got to be quick on that refresh and then quick on the add to cart. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, so far, I'm really liking this 24-gallon tank. Um, I know Petco is still doing their dollar per gallon sale if you're looking for a nice tank. Um, 20 gallon is a good tank, 20 gallon long, 40 gallon breeders. I got to stay away from those because um, I like how the, the 40 gallon breeders are. But I was thinking about either maybe turning one into an all-in-one or running a 40 and then a 20 in the, the bottom. But you know what? I'm just going to stay away from that. Stay away from Petco. Uh, because the twenty the dollar per gallon sales are uh, pretty tempting, but to be honest with you, this twenty four gallon is doing me justice. I like it. I have uh, all my fish crap in the cabinet right here. I I uh, I really like it. So if you guys take advantage of the dollar per gallon sale, let me know. Put it in the comments below or whatever. I'd love to see it. Or hey, build make a build on uh, some of the forums and let me send me the link to it. Um, this is uh, some video, you know how I like my gel filters. I like it just because the corals just pop. You can see the colors and stuff like that. You know, if, if I wanted to just pretend like my tank was perfect, I would just do the gel filters and not even talk about the bubble algae and stuff like that. But now nah, we're going to keep it real here, and uh, we're going to work through this bubble algae together. Um, one thing that I've been doing with the bubble algae, I do have a big emerald crab in this tank, uh, but... You know, I thought about pulling them out because it's so big. I don't want him to get any of my fish, you know. I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit closer look at some of these pallies. Uh, one thing that I want to show you guys is uh, I think because I've been using the Acro Power a little bit too much, I've been getting some kind of a cyano uh, growing on the plugs. And what I've been doing is I've just been using a turkey baster to uh, blow that stuff off. And in my tank, I actually have uh, quite a bit of flow. I have an MP40, an old school one, that's still doing the job on this tank. And then the return pump uh, for the that came with the tank is doing a really good job. I've also been messing around with my frags. Um, I've been doing peroxide dips on them, hydrogen peroxide. And what it does is if you pit hydrogen peroxide with a mixture of your tank water, it's going to help you destroy some of these bubble algaes and regular green hair algae and things like that. Um, another thing that I think would work pretty good is hydrogen peroxide as a coral dip. You know, instead of using this, you know, animal pesticide for your dogs and things like that, for your corals, I think peroxide would do a better job at 
dip in coral than some of those other dips. But that's just me talking, guys. Do your own research. Uh, you got to find what works for you anyways um, since it's your tank. For me, I am uh, messing around with peroxide. It's cheap. It comes in a big old bottle for like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. And um, and I know that it does work against algae. Uh, your inverts, they don't have a good tolerance to that because I know some people are actually dosing peroxide into their tank uh, to help fight these uh, algae. But I'm not there. I, I take it out and I just mix it in a solution. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and kick on some music and enjoy the video. Thanks, guys. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Like and subscribe guys and you guys take care.